Hello fellow casters, this is Nami Moonlight with Legend Magics, and today I'm going to be running you through everything that you see here on my altar. Now before I begin, I'm going to run you through a couple of things that I do before setting up. In case you guys don't already know, this is my secondhand cleansing solution. And I put that on the coffee table right here before um, I put the altar cloth down and set up. Reason being is because it's a coffee table. It is the life of the living room. So to cleanse the energies that are on this table from, that'll have things like family dinners or homework or gaming on, on laptops, we cleanse this table before we even remotely set up. Now this, uh, I'm gonna try and get a visual here for you. This is anointing oil uh, from 13 Moons. Um, I just take a little dab of this and put it on everything that you see here. I've already done it, so you won't be seeing me do that, but basically just put my finger on top, do this, and just smudge the oils on everything you see here already. All right, so let's get started. I'm gonna start from this side. So as you can see, I got my athame. Um, this is my stone bag uh, for these stones that you see right here around this candle. Um, mainly around the candle I have citrine. Uh, I do have a few quartz in there. Um, that's just because I haven't gotten any more polished stones lately. Um, here is a Wicca brand power candle. I absolutely love this candle. It gives great energy, great sense of empowerment. So I always have a candle over here that basically helps me to feel empowered and just extra oomph to what I'm doing. All right, uh, over here we have a um, statue of Selene, the moon goddess, and some selenite right there to represent her. For those of you who don't know, uh, selenite was actually named after Selene, so it's a great representation for our little moon goddess here. All right, moving on, uh, I have an obelisk here that's actually a representation for me. Uh, it is a smoky black agate, and it's great workings for uh, Geminis. Um, that pendant right there is um, uh, a representation for my daughter. Uh, this is her first witchy necklace ever, so that's a great representation for her. Over here, we have Sarnanos, and right next to him is his obelisk. It's a green agate. Uh, we have a plaque here for Habandia. For those of you who don't know, Habandia is the goddess of prosperity. Next here we have a gong. Um, I don't use a bell. I prefer to use this uh, just because I love the sound of it. All right, uh, my incense holder here uh, chose to, for it to be a lotus. That's a representation for my fiance. So we, I basically have my entire family here on this altar. All right, now onto my elements. Um, for, I've got our earth right here with a green candle back there. Got um, air, oh, in case you couldn't figure that out, that's salt. Uh, for air, I use feathers, uh, specifically crow feathers, just because I, crows are my spirit animal. Um, here we have fire. Uh, I'm using matches to represent that, and water, of course, represented by water. And that is my altars, ladies and gents. And I'm actually going to go ahead and do a little ritual. Uh, catch me on my next video. I'm going to show you how I open and close a circle. Till, till then, blessed.